my fight fans, we got fight week, guys. Fight week, and it is finally here. Fight week is finally here. Nate Diaz versus Hamzat Chamaya for 279, September 10th. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Good God. This fight has been waiting for a very long time. Um, you know, we got this fight announced sometime, I believe it was back in July or August, I want to say. Maybe around that time frame. And yeah, I am fucking stoked. I am stoked. I know you guys are as well. So, my question to you guys is, we really know the backstory with this whole fight. Nate Diaz wants out of his contract. He wants to go do, um, do bigger and better things. He wants to go fight Jake Paul. He wants to go possibly do jiu-jitsu matches. He just wants to be free. He wants to be able to go do his own thing. He wants to be able to pursue different opportunities that the UFC will not let him do. And rightfully so, you know, that's the problem I always felt with the UFC. You know, I get it. They want to protect their investments. So they don't want to just let anybody go over there and box and such. Um, but my personal opinion, if a person can make their own money, they can make better money somewhere just or make a little bit more money. You know, something that the UFC cannot pay them. You know, if you it's be open about it, you know, be 100 percent about it, be straight up about it and tell you tell them like, hey, you know what? If you feel like you can make 50 million fighting Jake Paul. Go ahead and do it. You have a home always here. And that's my personal personal feelings when it comes to this fight, when it comes to these guys doing their own thing. Because they have they should have the right to do that. They should have the right to actually pursue other opportunities out there. You know, because you're when it comes to regular life, you know, 30, 40 years old isn't old. Isn't old. You know, you're just starting. You can actually have a really good career. But in the fight game, it's old. It's getting up there. And Nate Diaz, I believe, is 36, 37 years old. So he's no spring chicken in the fight game. You know, in real life, sure, you know, he's still very, very young. And, um, but yeah, he needs to go out there and make his money. Now, I'm sure he made some good money in the UFC. No doubt about it. I'm sure he's made some decent money. But compared to what the money he could be making in boxing, compared to the money he could be making elsewhere, you know, no, I'm sorry, it doesn't compare. You know, you put him in there with a, a Jake Paul, he's probably going to make more money than he did against Conor. You put him in there with maybe if someone actually does want to box him like an actual boxer, like a Triple G or even a Canelo as some kind of showcase boxing match, then yeah, he's going to make another decent money. I, I promise you guys, he could do three fights in boxing and make more money than um, three fights in the UFC. That's just how the UFC is. I'm sure he they'll still make good money. You know, he fights Con he goes get, goes up in there against Connor, goes up in there against um or hey Masvidal or a, a Dustin Poirier. Yeah, he's gonna make some really good money there, but no one near close to what he should be making. So yeah, here we are. We're finally here. We finally made it, and now we got the big question is how is this gonna happen? How is this gonna look? Who's gonna win? I hear a lot of speculation about uh, Hamza going to run over Nate Diaz. Run, uh, Nate, um, Hamza is going to destroy Nate Diaz. Hamza is going to completely annihilate Nate Diaz. And I'm a Nate Diaz fan. I'm a Nate Diaz big time fan. I am a huge fan of Nate Diaz. Always followed his career. You know, I have a lot of favorite memories and favorite moments of Nate Diaz. And I am talking like this because, yes, this could be a potential ending for Nate Diaz in the UFC. You know, we... um. We've been looking at his career for a long period of time. He's been doing this since you guys remember watching him at uh, the Ultimate Fighter Season 5. You know, that's it's been a long time. So nonetheless, um, this could be the very end for Nate Diaz. So with that being said, I'm looking at this and I'm just like, does he stay or does he go? That's my major question what I want to ask you guys. With the build-up to UFC 279, with all the stuff that was on the line, with what Nate Diaz wants to do outside of the UFC, what the UFC's not letting him do, with all the memories that we've seen in him from UFC, uh, excuse me, from Tough Season 5 to now, from all the issues from up in that point, what do we see Nate Diaz do? Because now... This is almost him taking charge of his career. Now the he's in the driving seat. Right now, almost, excuse me, almost in the driving seat. Because right now he still has um, to go through Hamza. Now if he goes through Hamza and he does pull off this victory, and it could be a big upset. I'm still an ideas fan no matter what. I do feel like he can do it, but I'll get into that later. Um, then yes, the, the 
freaking the he's gonna shoot for the moon he's gonna land on the stars but i promise you he ain't gonna land on the stars because he'll land on the moon if he pulls off this victory and it's like literally he could print his own money he'll go to boxing i promise you he'll make a bunch of load of money he goes to even the ufc was like you know what guess what your number you better add a couple more zeros to whatever contract you want to sign nate diaz to because i promise you guys he is not going to be cheap if he pulls this victory off. Because there, Nate Diaz is no stupid idiot. You know, he is not no dummy. Because he knows what they're doing. You know, he could have went in there against a Dustin Poirier. He could have went in there against a Michael Chandler. He could have went in there maybe... I know Jorge Miles, but I was tied up with all this stuff that's got going on with his um, lawsuit and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, there's a few other guys that Nate Diaz could have went against. But um, the UFC knew what, knew what they were doing. They were trying to put Nate Diaz in there with a very, very much of a killer. A guy who is very destructive. A guy who is very dominant. Even though I have a lot to say regarding that too. Again, getting that to another time. Um, but yeah. So they could have done Nate Diaz a really good solid. Hell, you know what? Tony Ferguson is on this card. Who would have not wanted to see at lightweight or even right now, 270, uh, 170, you know, you uh nate diaz versus tony ferguson i would have loved to see that fight that would have been one fight for the ages you're talking about one hell of a bloodbath these guys do not have any quit in them but they didn't want to do that because they didn't want nate diaz riding off um in the sunset with a great win they want to do everything they can to do to make sure nate diaz comes out of this not looking the same comes out of this maybe potentially a, a loss and you know they save themselves from having to write a big check to Nate Diaz or save all the stuff that they had. Like, you know, they, to them, they basically gave Nate Diaz this big old platform to use, which is the UFC. And now they want to try to take it away from him in a very big way. They want him to leave the UFC with the loss, with like less of what he was. And that's to me is pretty messed up. Because, you know, just because Nate Diaz wants to leave doesn't mean he's not going to come back. You guys listen to an interview that he did and he talks about yeah he does want to come back but he just wants to go off and do his own thing for a while and that could be just maybe a year maybe two years at most we could still see that conor mcgregor fight we could still see that jorge masvidal fight that that justin gaethje that um dustin poirier we could still see all these but he just wants to do his own thing for a little bit make his own money for a little bit and let him do that let him do that. Let him become rich. Let him, you know, he has a big star in his name. And I don't want to hear this whole thing. Well, the UFC, we built his brand. No, 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 You, He built his brand. You guys just were there to capture the brand and be able to promote it. You helped him. One hand washes the other. I've gotten to this plenty of times. I've gotten to it about multiple times about regarding this. One hand washes the other. So my question is, after all this, after what Nate Diaz has said, after Nate Diaz what has um told us and everything that we have actually seen because this has been very public his dysfunction with the ufc what does he do does he stay because the question is why he might stay now is because we got a new welterweight champion we got leon edwards and we remember what happened with nate diaz when he went against leon edwards he almost stopped him that last minute that last minute when they went against each other last year i think it was in june he got him. He clocked him on the chin, and he was going to stop Leon Edwards. So is UFC, if with the potential win, is the UFC going to ask Nate Diaz, hey, stay with us. You will 100% get this title shot. Or is Nate Diaz going to know what they're going to do? Like, hey, you know what? They're going to come at me with everything they can. Because in the interviews that he's done, he he hears multiple. We hear, excuse me, we hear multiple times that they try to come at him with a number. They try to come at him with a number, and he did not want it. He wants to go off and do his own thing. So I personally don't feel that Nate Diaz is going to stay, regardless of a win or loss. I don't feel no number they're going to do, unless that number is like literally two or three digit numbers. Nate Diaz is going to leave the UFC. And personally, I really wish he would stay because I am super excited to see these Conor McGregor fights, the Masvidal rematch, the Dustin Poirier, the Justin Gaethje, even potentially that Leon Edwards title shot that I know he can actually get down the line. I want him to stay, but I also want him to make his own money. I want all these UFC fighters, these stars to make their own money. I don't want them to come back or hear about them 10, 15, 20 years later and talk here how they're struggling. 
sure, uh, you guys can make your own decisions and do your own decision with your money. But nonetheless, I still want to see these guys make their money because they deserve it 100%. So my question to you guys is, what do you think Nate Diaz is going to do regarding UFC 279 with the win? Is he going to stay or is he going to leave? Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.